and let it seep and then I uh, make a hot tea out of it get some uh, some honey and some lemon and just a dab of salt uh, in there uh, just in case if the throat is hurting and I mix all of that up and drink it real hot then I tell you what it does a body good matter of fact along with uh, taking about 8,000 milligrams of uh, vitamin C tablets and drinking several glasses of orange juice and cranberry juice and pink grapefruit juice I tell you I woke up on Sunday morning and I forgot that I was supposedly had an allergy attack and was sick the um, the day before so I had a wonderful time uh, getting over that uh, you know getting over that and uh, because there's a new strain of this upper respiratory infection that's going around. And so the antibiotics are not uh, working all the time. And then um, on Sunday morning, we traveled to Jacksonville, Florida, to Faith United Miracle Temple. Bishop Benjamin and the Saints there had a great time there ministering there. I tell you, we had a good old time there in Jacksonville. And then we stopped through uh, Daytona Deliverance Church of God, uh, Bishop Quentin Wallace, uh, also on Sunday night. So uh, when I woke up this morning, I felt like a freight train had rolled over me, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. It's all good doing the work of the Lord. And I tell you, uh, even as we're getting ready now, as to, if you do not know, we've started an online Bible study. If you want to register for that, go to www.myvirtualchurchonline.com and you can register for that online Bible study at no cost. It's free. Register there, and then you will get emailed the log on information. Uh, and the Bible study is Tuesday nights, Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Now we have some people that are in the California area. We had a woman today uh, uh, who also registered from the uh, UK, and so I think it'll be uh, about two or three in the morning over there. And so uh, spread the word. This is an interactive Bible study. You'll be able to call in on a conference line. And then you'll be able to log in on a website and put in a, a password, and you'll be able to get the notes. I'll be able to download the notes right there live. Excuse me, right there on during the call, and you're able to uh, chat with me and ask me questions during the Bible study. It's about an hour long, a little more, and I tell you, we had a great time. If you're if you're watching this before January, um, we're we're on a lesson preparing for the new year, and I've got some powerful things I want to share with you to help you prepare for 2007 and if the year has already started go back there and, uh, and and download those those notes and that Bible study also uh, during the month of December because our ministry is a campus ministry we're, we're off we're, we're you know there's no church because <laughs> all the most of the members are gone and so we take that month off uh, from the, having the Sunday services they're on campus, but you, we're usually on the road. But if you would like me to come to your area, to your church, or to your event, I do motivational speaking. Uh, I also do teaching. I do leadership training. I'm a music worship leader, uh, but also I do preaching as well. Please go to my website, www.robertcarpenter.org, and you can email me there, and uh, we will be glad to come and, and share with your congregation or your family or your event uh, there and you know and so uh, I'm looking forward to that I often get a lot of calls and everything and uh, so we're looking forward hey invite me out uh, you'll be blessed you'll be blessed and so I also want to share with you that um, one of the things that I'm, I'm really looking at for the new year but we can actually start it now and I mentioned it in our last blog is about doing acts of kindness you know one of the things that that, that interests me is that oftentimes during the holiday season everyone becomes philanthropic philanthropic excuse me uh, you know they like to do things for other people during this time but usually once the holidays leave uh, that's it and so I think that we have to take it one step further and throughout the year January through December we ought to be doing acts of kindness you know Jesus said that if you want to turn with me to Matthew chapter 25 right around uh, verse 35 uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, "For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. Uh, I was uh, uh, I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Uh, you know, and 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 they asked, well, when did we do all these things? And in verse 40 says, I say unto you, as much as you did it to one of the least of my brethren.'" 
you did it to me. And so I, I really want to challenge you as you're getting ready to go into this new year, 2007, that you really begin to get a mind and a spirit to say, you know what, I am going to do acts of kindness for people that I don't even know. People that are my enemies. You say, wait a second, Pastor Robert, why would I want to do something like that? Somebody who's done me wrong, somebody who I know doesn't like me. Well, the reason is, Jesus said, bless those that curse you, uh, that revile you, that despitefully use you. The blessing is in blessing them. Oh, see, you, <laughs> see, you can be nice to somebody, and that's all good and fine, and there's a blessing in that. But there's a higher level of blessing when you bless those that, number one, that you know don't like you, you know have done you wrong. And one step further, bless those that you don't even know. When you bless people that you do not know, you're actually demonstrating the love of Christ. You're not looking for anything in return. You're not looking for a payback because when you do that for them, you walk off and you leave many times. Why don't you help hold the door for somebody? Just stand there two seconds long and hold the door open for somebody that you see walking that way. Help somebody carry their groceries to the car. Help somebody uh, carry something up the steps. Do something for somebody that you don't even know and walk away and say, hey, I've done it. An act of kindness. The more you start to do it, the more you will feel good about doing it. And what it does, it plants seeds where you end up demonstrating or manifesting heaven, a manifest, manifesting Christ. And that's one of the things we have to do, not just during the holidays, but throughout the year. And I really want to challenge you. And finally, as we're coming up here on the Christmas season, I just want to let you know that, hey, I don't want you to be depressed. Don't be worried. Don't be stressed out during this holiday season. Uh, if you're saying financially, I don't have as much as I want. Uh, to get uh, to get what I want, don't stress. Make it work, okay? Don't don't get stressed out and run your credit cards up. Hello, somebody, and and go into debt, and then you have to spend half of 2007, if not more, trying to pay it off. Also, many of you uh, have uh, are estranged or have strained relationships with friends and family members, and you're, you're kind of feeling lonely. Do not feel lonely. Uh, allow Christ in you to minister to you, the Holy Spirit uh, to, uh, you know, to minister to you during this time. You know, hey, go out and help other people. Don't stay home and sulk and be depressed. If you don't have anybody to eat dinner with and share gifts with on Christmas, go to a homeless shelter. I used to volunteer at one. I'm telling you, there are people that are there that would love for somebody to come by and see them. Uh, hey, email me. Contact me. Uh, send me an email. And I'll be in contact with you personally, but do not get the press. A lot of times we say I'm too blessed to be stressed, but truthfully, a lot of us are too stressed to be blessed. And so, through this holiday season, you know, maybe you've tried to make amends with some loved ones, some family members, and it hasn't worked. Don't trip out over it. You just align yourself right and know that you're doing right and you're doing all that you can. Uh, a lot of people get depressed during this time, and I don't want you to do that. I'm going to be praying for you, and I'm going to be talking to you real soon. Don't forget, go visit my website, www.robertcarpenter.org. There's some product on there. There's some resources on there. If you would like me to come and minister at your church in the new year or during this month or even in the new year, go there to that website. If you want to register for the online Bible study, go to www.myvirtualchurchonline.com and we'll send you that information. Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, we're on the line and we're on the web with an online Bible study, literally now with people not just from around the country, but even across into the nations and even in Europe. God bless you. You have a wonderful Christmas season. I'll be back before Christmas and talk to you, but you have a wonderful season and you be blessed this holiday season. God bless you.